Hello, internet friends. All right, so someone asked me for a video to compare the <coughs> Vertical Stabilizer 1.0 to Vertical Stabilizer 2.0. And here's 1.0. And if you can see here, uh, the camera probably makes it real hard, but there's some huge indentations from where me being an inexper inexperienced builder uh, just took the 3X rivet gun, plugged it into the air compressor, and just started pounding away without, you know, adjusting any of the pressure or anything because I didn't know any better. Uh, same on the back here. Uh, there's a lot of underdriven and overdriven rivets. Um, you can see I also used the wrong orientation for these. These should have the um, machine head on them instead it's the shop head uh let's see like that one's really bad again it's kind of hard to see from the angle of the camera here look at those so just you know not great quality here um here's one other area where the um on this bracket right here you can see i over drilled the hole for the rudder attach bracket. Um, and so, you know, this is the first thing that I built and it went up in my storage up there for two years until I got it back down to do the match drilling to the aft fuselage. And I noticed that the build quality was not great. So since I'm going to pay someone a lot of money to paint this eventually, uh, their time is probably a lot more valuable to fix all that than it is for me to just rebuild Vertical Stabilizer 2.0. I'm going to call this one 98% good. Like it, you know, there's a couple minor, like it's not perfectly flat, but it's definitely acceptable right and that's probably more i need to do better dimpling or something but i mean it's definitely acceptable there so and all the rivets on the back are great they're in the right orientation there so you can see with the machine head out here no over drilled holes and just build quality is so much better that it was definitely worth 300 bucks to rebuild this because if I handed this to the painter, uh, well, one, I, I guess I would have to convince the DAR that it's acceptable. <laughs> I'm not sure that it is. And two, uh, handing it to the painter in that condition, I think it would take more than $300 worth of work to make it acceptable for paint. So there you go justifies vertical stabilizer 2.0 i'm much happier with that so hope that answers that question again the easiest way i figured to um answer it was to just make this quick video with the iphone all right so i hope that answered your question if you want to come chat about vertical stabilizers come join our slack group the link is in the description of this video see you soon